Hey everyone, Sergio Bellis here, Principal Product Manager for Mobility. I want to do a very, very quick overview of where we are in our Android EMM journey and really focus the bulk of my discussion today on the things that we announced in our uh, press release, as well as the aspect that we alluded to in terms of coming soon. So just a little bit of a disclaimer, but at a high level, right? Uh, Android EMM offers a ton of flexibility. We started off evaluating which ones would be most pertinent to our customers, whether you're on the very privacy conscientious side with BYOD or really on a control fully managed, lock it down to explicitly your use case, their fully managed device or a dedicated device. Well, with phase one, which went GA in about June, uh, we launched work profile. So that's your BYOD and corporate use cases. We built a a ton of policies that followed a lot of commands associated with it. You can actually drive device compliance through that as well as a fairly robust uh, application management approach. However, customers were eager to see that and were asking for more. So that's where our phase two came about. So from there, uh, really we honed in on the other two uh, management modes that's dedicated and fully managed. So there's different use cases that fall into this umbrella Typically, if you're a knowledge-based worker with a company-issued device, or if it's a device that may be specific for uh, unique use cases, digital signage, kiosks, whatnot, that's where this conversation comes into play very effectively. So we ended up supporting uh, these two enrollment or management modes uh, through the QR code enrollment. And with that, there was a accompanying of a ton of policies. So a number of our policies were enhanced. So your device level restrictions, app level restrictions were enhanced and that new ones were completely built. So kiosk mode, battery mode, really tailored towards our dedicated devices, factor recent protections for any company owned devices, as well as a number of networking configurations and restrictions policies. With that, we needed to actually expand what that looks like for an admin in their configuration experience. So uh, you will see something evolving in the Google tab. So you will see now you can enable and select the fully managed and dedicated devices for those enrollments. You will have insights into the Android fleet that you have. And with a soon coming release, we have an enhanced enrollment token or the QR code creation process. I'll allude to that in a second. And with this expansive uh, UI, we are also incorporating zero touch. So uh, a number of the enrollment token enhancements came about based on customer feedback. So uh, some of you were letting us know that we are currently making very hard coded decisions for you. It's a set limit of expiry. I can't really uh, use it as efficiently for my use cases. I'd love to see some granularity. So with that, we are actually introducing the ability for you to curate that enrollment for your use case, whether that's single use, multi-use, how long you need it to be uh, valid for before it expires. Is it a zero touch enrollment token um, or is it a general fully managed uh, actual device enrollment token? And a little bit of an effort there is, well, if I'm enrolling manually a couple of devices, I'd love to be able to have a corporate Wi-Fi network actually built into that QR code. So I don't have to keep reentering the SSID and the password. So we are delivering that. And you'll be able to experience that here very, very shortly. With that, some of the policies to highlight software update. You will now be able to define for company-owned devices the ability to uh, when those uh, updates kick into effect, if there are maintenance windows or freeze periods that are respected and with some of the notions of using dedicated devices, kiosk mode. So you are now able to either define into a single app mode or into what would be called a launcher experience where you can define a number of applications along with those corresponding restrictions. The thing that you may have seen in the press releases coming here in this quarter is Android Zero Touch enrollment. So. A uh, number of you may have experienced zero touch enrollment or similar experiences with uh, Apple or ABM. Uh, this is a sort of a Google reflection of that. So there are some unique requirements that Google has in place. One, there's some OS level restrictions you have to be aware of. Uh, you have to have a EMM provider configured that supports fully managed and dedicated devices for that process as well as you will have to procure those devices through a authorized Google reseller. 
there's a particular flow you have to follow. But once you have that in place and you've checked off all those boxes, you're streamlining that uh, onboarding experience for each of your end users. So this is sort of the process we call out that you have to make sure you're you got to go through all these steps accordingly. You'll purchase through a reseller. We have links accordingly in our documentation to all the uh, gold, silver uh, rated Google resellers. Once those devices are procured, there will be a, a customer account that will be generated for you in a zero touch portal. You will associate that portal in our Jump Cloud MM tenant, and then you'll be able to define some of those configurations using those uh, enrollment token configuration that we I alluded to previously. So. Um, just to showcase a slight demo, what that looks like in real life. So this is a staging environment to showcase it. Uh, the experience, historically, you may have seen just an ability to select either a company owned uh, work profile experience, and you would click on this and it would generate you a QR code. Now you're actually able to clarify that a little bit more specifically. So if you wanted to just generate a typical one, So we'll just do a test one. We'll just a single use token. We won't specify Wi-Fi. You click create. We spin up that QR code. We have that token. If you happen to not have the ability to use a camera on your device and you'll be able to click on this and you can even go through the process of downloading it. If you are trying to generate it for zero touch, just flag that accordingly. Uh, specify the information. When we generate that particular token, we'll give you a couple of things. One, you have the ability to copy that uh, DPC extra blob, that JSON formatted information, just grab it and go and put it into the zero touch portal. Or if you don't have the ability to do that at the moment, you want to download it for future use, go ahead and grab it, save it. And according to however you named it, we'll uh, save that particular JSON file for you. At that point, because we're generating a number of these tokens and they may be a long lived period, we are actually surfacing up those tokens for you. You have the full capacity to be able to delete them. If you so desire, you can minimal, minimize how many active tokens should you need to cycle those out. And once you have an accordingly JSON blob, you hop into the zero touch portal and are able to configure that and get your devices bulk onboarded. It's really the high level uh, presentation for myself. Any particular questions, comments, happy to take those away for you guys. Let's see those questions, friends. Thank you, Sergi. There is also a longer, deeper dive into this, which we will link in the show notes. So we're going to pause for questions. Going once, going twice. All right, Sergi was super thorough, I think. Uh, you've already answered everyone's possible questions. And if something Thank comes about that. later, help holler at us, android at jumpcloud.com or on the community forums, and we'll get back to you. Kalisa has no questions yet. I'm just excited to do more with Android now. So that's good feedback. Please subscribe and check out more content from us.